Hey guys, I want to make sure that you understand these negative powers uh, before you get started on your homework. So I have a couple of sample problems I want you to take a look at. First problem here is 4 to the negative third power. Now remember, anytime we have a negative power, it's the same thing as writing 1 over 4 to the third. I just take the negative, get rid of it, and I make a 1 over my original power equation. So 1 over 4 to the negative, or I'm sorry, 1 over 4 to the third is the same thing as 1 over 4 times 4 times 4, or 1 over 64. The next problem, a little bit different, negative 5 to the 0 power. Remember, anything to the 0 power will always be 1. The only exception to that rule is 0. 0 to the 0 power is undefined. 3 to the negative 2. Anytime I have a negative exponent, I'm going to make it 1 over, and I just write the same thing, 3 squared. 3 squared is 9. 3 to the negative 2 power is 1 over 9. 6 to the negative 1 is the same thing as saying 1 over 6 to the first. 6 to the first power is 1 over 6. And finally, what happens if we have a negative base raised to a negative power? Same rule applies with this negative. I make it 1 over, keep the base, keep the exponent, negative 4 squared. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. 1 over 16 is my answer. Okay, now we'll make things a little bit more complicated by using the alphabet with math. For example, x to the negative 9 power. Same rule still applies when I have a negative exponent. It's 1 over x to the 9th. Now I can't solve this because I don't know what x is, so that's in simplest form. What if I have 1 over n to the negative 3 power? We talked about this yesterday in class. The n to the minus 3 becomes 1 over n to the third. So 1 over n to the third. But you can't have a fraction as my numerator or my denominator. So in order to get rid of that, I have to multiply by the reciprocal, n third, n to the third over 1. And whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. n to the third. These cancel out to a 1. 1 times n to the third is n to the third over 1 over 1. This just simplifies. Like I said yesterday, anytime we have 1 over n to the minus something, it will be n to that power. Math is so cool. In a problem like this where it's 4c to the negative 3, times b. I have to simplify uh, this c to the negative 3 because it's not quite right. So it's 4, c to the negative 3 is the same thing as 1 over c to the third times b. And from here it's just a simple multiplication problem. 4 times 1 times b, so it's 4b over c to the third. 4 times c to the negative third power times b simplifies to 4b over c3. Here I have 2 divided by a to the negative 3. 2 over 1 over a to the third, right? But I can't have that fraction in my denominator. So I'm going to multiply a to the third over 1 a to the third over 1. These cancel out to a 1. What's 2 times a to the third? 2a to the third over 1. It's just simply 2a to the third. Finally, ooh, n to the minus 5 over m squared. Lots of weird stuff going on in this problem. First thing I want to do is simplify that n up top. It's 1 over n to the fifth, right? 
over m squared. Hmm, not really a big fan of what's going on here. Let's get rid of this m squared. Multiply by the reciprocal times 1 over m squared, since this is m squared over 1. These would cancel out. I'm going to multiply this by 1 over m squared. Hey, we know how to multiply fractions. 1 times 1 is n to the fifth times m squared is we, you can't really reduce that so it would just be n to the fifth m squared. That's my final answer. Okay, last thing that we'll do is simplify each expression when n is negative 2 and w is 5. My first example here, I have n to the 0 power over w to the 6th power. First thing I want to do is plug in my numbers. n again is negative 2, so it's negative 2 to the 0 power over w to the 6th, 5 to the 6th power. Anytime I have a number, whether it is negative or positive, to the 0 power, my answer will always be 1. If you don't believe me, check your calculator. 5 to the 6th power. 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. 15, 6, 25. Did that one in my head. Our next problem is n to the minus 4 times w to the 0 power. Again, we're going to substitute in our values. Negative 2 to the negative 4 power times 5 to the 0 power. Well, 5 to the 0 power, we did that over here with this problem, 5 to the 0 is 1. Negative 2 to the negative 4. Just like in our last example, whenever I have a negative exponent, it's going to be 1 over, keep the base, keep the exponent, negative 2 to the 4th power. Negative 2 to the 4th power is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. That will give me 1 over 16. Don't forget your times 1. My answer, 1 over 16. Next I have n to the minus 1 power over w squared. So that would be negative 2 to the negative 1 power over 5 squared. Well, 5 squared is really easy. That's 25. Negative 2 to the negative 1, that would be, if I follow my rule, 1 over negative 2 to the first power. Well, like I said earlier, you can't have a fraction as part of your fraction. You can't have a fraction in your numerator or in your denominator. So let's get rid of this 25. Multiply by the reciprocal. What's the reciprocal of 25 over 1? 1 over 25. Now you might be asking why did I do the 25 and not the 1 over negative 2 to the first? Because anytime I get this it's going to cancel out and give me something over 1. So let's see here. 1 over negative 2 to the first power is the same thing as just negative 2. That's just the fraction we can multiply. 1 times 1 is 1. Negative 2 times 25 is negative 50. Mrs. Lifka, you can't have a fraction over a fraction. Yeah, but we're dividing by 1, so let's just get rid of it. 1 over negative 50. My last problem here says 1 over nw to the minus 1. So if I rewrite this, it would be 1 over negative 2 times 5 but that whole thing has to be raised to the negative 1 power. So it's 1 over negative 2 times 5 is negative 10 to the negative 1 power. Now again, 1 over 1 over negative 10 to the first power is just negative 10, but I can't have a fraction there, so multiply by the reciprocal. Negative 10 over 1 negative 10 over 1. These cancel out. 1 times a negative 10 over 1 is 
negative 10.